to this effect. And starting from tomorrow, the zoo naira is worth less than paper, uh, toilet paper. Thank you, pardon. The zoo naira. Now listen, the zoo. This, it is. It is not if the zoo will disintegrate. It does not matter what the politicians are doing. It does not matter the 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 whatever anybody wants to do or say. The zoo will disintegrate sooner and sooner and when it it disintegrates when it this when it is destroyed like when you said with the truth and we have done that he had he did it more than any other person of course he has exposed the the lie that is called nigeria now when this lie finally is destroyed and disintegrates that thing they call their money naira if you have it a trillion it is waste it is a waste paper for you because we will not use it in Biafra land if you have it uh one thousand it is a waste paper for you because no country will take it therefore you must begin to think ahead. Remember 1970. Remember, Asuna, uh, if you feel me once, I'm, I, it's my fault. Then if you feel me twice, I am a fool. Right. If you feel me, you can fool me once, yeah, because probably I wasn't aware. I'm, 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 it's, it's your lot. But if after you have fooled me and you come again and fool me the same way a second time, then I must be a fool. We must not forget 1970. They gave you 20 pounds. 20 pounds irrespective of what you had in the bank. Millionaires, we had them. Millionaires, when money was money. You had to be given only 20 pounds to start a life, to start afresh, to start a new life. And because you are a blessed race, because you are a blessed generation, because you are beloved of Tukwabiyama, how many years from 1970? Can you tell me if there is any any single race maybe maybe if you begin to really compare probably the jews uh, the jews of israel but there's no race that has survived and surpassed every expectation from our humble beginnings to where we are today that is why i said it Listen carefully, because 1970 is about to repeat itself. What the 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 Fulani are not, they are not keeping Naira. They will steal the money. They will steal the the oil. They will sell it. They keep their funds in foreign currency, not in Naira, because they know the zoo is falling and it will disintegrate, and the Naira will be worthless, worthless. The, that time. The, the Zimbabwe money you were you had to carry it <laughs> you have to carry it in, on a on a barrel wheelbarrow uh, for you to buy a loaf of bread it, it, that that would be that would be actually uh, um, you know to compare to what is going to happen to the zoo and its naira it, it was okay for the Zimbabwe the, nobody would take your naira to even buy bread now therefore I am. This leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra is calling upon all Biafrans tonight. Convert every excess naira that you have into the following foreign currencies. If you are a worker, they pay your salary. You know what you spend in a month. Just leave that one that you will spend in that month. The rest, convert it into any of these following currencies. If you're a market woman, a trader, a, a teacher, whatever you may be your occupation, 
whatever may be your 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 work, whatever you make, excess of it, apart from the one that you use on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, the rest convert it into any of the following currencies that I'm going to mention tonight to you. And please, please, when you convert this money into any of these currencies, don't put it into the into the bank, oh please, oh. Because the flani, the I'm sorry, I will speak this in English in Igbo. foreign currency. Ndi flani jiranya for dollar, na pounds, na euro, na yen, and the rest of it. They will they will go there and 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 um, of course uh, bring one overnight law and 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 take all your money. Don't keep it in your house. Don't keep this money you have converted into your house. Because before they will say that uh, IPOB has now told people to convert money and keep it in the house, and then criminals will start to go to house to house and begin. The army, actually the police in uniform, not criminals actually. The police and the army will begin to now go to your house and begin to do what? Uh, to tell you where, show, show us that dollar, show us that oil. Don't keep this money in your house. Don't keep it in your bank. Because if you keep your money in the bank, what the police are doing, they move around with a POS or whatever they call it, all these all this, uh, machines. And they will tell you, give us the pin. And they will take all you have saved there. All you need to put there is what you need for the month. They will, if anybody takes it, you have a backup. You have something that you will use to begin life at the declaration of Biafra. The currencies that you must change your funds into. And I'm asking our people, I don't want to, I, we don't want what is happening with the Efibo to, to repeat itself. Our people must begin to be their brother's keeper. On will be one now and all stop. Because what the report we are hearing is that people are, you know, rearing our, 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 our local cows and they are selling these cows exorbitantly. Why would that be? Why, why must you deliberately be profiteering from your own brother when you know that it's all for the survival of all, for every one of us? So all of you who are in money exchange, you will make your money, of course, because the more you change, just follow the uh, uh, the economic principle of um, of uh, you know um, uh, production of, of the more you produce and the more you sell at a at a little at a little gain, the more you can make out of it. Not that you you want to uh, sell one and and then uh, become a millionaire. So please don't begin now to start to you know turn the exchange rate into something that people will begin to get offended with or get uh, pissed off about. These currencies that you can change your money, that any time, any time the zoo disintegrates, any time Biafra comes, you can change this money and use it to begin, change it into the Biafra currency that will be introduced and begin to live your life and build your life and start a new life. The European euro, the American dollar. Some of these are, of course, they are colonial money, but we we have no choice at the moment. Until we become a nation, we will show them what a nation is and what our currencies will be. It cannot be. It's not the they will call it the Biafra pound. How can we call it pound anyway? That's by that's for another day. Now, like I said, these currencies include the European euro. This, the American dollar, the Swiss francs, the Japanese yen, the Canadian dollar, the Australian dollar, the British pound, of course, the South African rand, yes, and the Canadian, uh, Ghanaian city, yes. If you can change your money into South African rand, don't change it in French francs or with uh, this, uh, because when you change it, you are also uh, supporting France to continue to to uh, impoverish our our 
French speaking um, brothers in, in Francophone area. Don't change into Fran uh, French Frank. Change it. Any Africa, if you, if you want to change it to a, an African African currency, change it to to Ghanaian city or to to uh, the South African rand. At least their money is still stable. Their environment is also politically stable for the moment, so their money will continue to to appreciate. And when you change it at the time the African currency will be introduced, you will have something to begin like. And I want to repeat: don't. After converting this money, don't put it in the bank. Don't put it in your heart. Well, you people have common sense now. Oh, you can think out where you can. If you don't know anything else, go and hide it. Go and, go and, go and dig a ground and put it somewhere there. Convert your Naira into any of these currencies because the zoo will fall. It will fall. And... Uh, your Naira, when do falls, will be worthless. Worthless. I have spoken. Those of you in the north, when you make that exchange, come back to the east and keep that money somewhere. Don't tell anybody. Don't even tell your wife. Maybe, maybe only your wife, of course, so that other mama on the table you know, uh, in, in English, in case of in case it, you can tell your wife. Just the two of you will know. And your wife that you trust. <laughs> if you don't trust your wife, please. But uh, I wouldn't go into, into marriage issues here. My message to all of us tonight, to be our friends tonight, is that we must begin from tomorrow to accelerate, to accelerate the, the complete disintegration of the economic nerve of the zoo, which is the Biafran people that are holding this country. Let us do this for one month. Let us do this for the next couple of months. And uh, the result will show by itself. Biafrans, as I have said already, 13th of September 2022 is a total and absolute lockdown in Biafra land. All must put their hands on the deck because this battle is for all of us. And the victory we must get. For us, it is Biafra or Biafra. There shall be neither retreat no surrender as far as this struggle is concerned. Now I have some announcements to make, my, my dear great people of Yaku. I have some announcements to make, and these announcements go this way. The following persons are assigned a new responsibility or responsibilities, as the case may be, in the IPOB worldwide family. These individuals have been appointed to these positions to continue to strengthen the family and continue to work towards our objectives and our goals, which is the unconditional release of our leader in the American and the ultimate, because all watching it, when you get oh, it is Martin and the Kano or Hamadike that will lead us into a free sovereign Biafra nation. Whether the enemy like it or not, they, they, um, they, uh, whether they like it or not, Oyendu is rejoining us uh, the soonest. Mazi Chuku Dubem Ozo, Mazi Chuku Dubem Ozo is appointed the new IPOB China Family National Coordinator. All principal officers, all IPOB family members in China, and of course in all other countries that I'm going to call, you must give these new principal servants the maximum cooperation, the maximum support, and work in concert with them as they carry out their responsibilities and implement instructions 
passed down to them from the hierarchy of this very great work. Maazi Chuku Dubem Ozo is the new IPUB China Family National Coordinator. Of course, our family in China, they already know this, but I want to make it more public so that the world will also know and other family members in the, of IPUB in the world will also be aware of it. Maazi Ahuchaobu Ebiwe is appointed IPUB Netherlands National Coordinator. Maazi Ahucha Ogo Ebiwe is our IPUB National Coordinator for Netherlands, also called Holland. Maazi Tochuku Mado is appointed the IPUB Multinational Coordinator. And uh, Maazi Mado replaces the former National Coordinator who moved to another country. And of course, as you move to another country, uh, I believe you will continue to uh, uh, be part of this noble family there. Do not relent, do not uh, retreat, and do not surrender. Remain focused, remain dedicated in your duty or in your new uh, family that you have moved to, um, in your new place of residence. Mazi Iken Nanjoko is the new Scotland Regional Coordinator. Iken Nanjoko is the new Scotland Regional Coordinator for IPOB UK family. He replaces Mazi Jocelyn Ndiolo. Mrs. Uju Ebo Simba is also the new coordinator for IPOB North London Zone. Mrs. Uju Ebo Simba is the new IPOB North London Zone coordinator. Mazi Mike Ezebiro is appointed the new IPOB Anambra North Senatorial Coordinator. Mike as a bureau is the new IPOB Anambra North Senatorial Coordinator. Anywhere we see those who are not supposed to be in our midst for being for having other agenda, we will not spare them. That is why we will continue to sanitize this family and to purge every parasite. <laughs> I don't want to borrow, I don't want to plagiarize. Uh, of course, we had uh, our law lord, the, uh, the, our leader's wife, um, marvelously described some of these individuals in our midst. And so I'm not going to pray there, but I'm going to, I'm saying that anyone who is in our midst that has ulterior reason to be in our midst, we will find you out. We will purge you. We will remove you. We will expel you, as the case may be. Mike Ezebiro is appointed the new IPOB Anambra North Senatorial Coordinator. Masi Mike Weze is appointed the new local government coordinator for IPOB Newi North. Mike Weze is appointed the new local government coordinator for IPOB Newi North in Anambra State. Masi is Chuku Chuku Neta. Is the Chuku Chuku Neta is the new IPOB Obaru local government zonal coordinator. Mazi is the Chuku Chuku Neta is our new local government coordinator for Obaru in Anambra State. Mazi Noel Okongu is the former secretary of IPOB in um, uh, Omaba Zone. He now takes over as the zonal coordinator for Omaba Owanyangu Zone. Mazimel Okonkwo is the new IPOB Omaba Owanyangu Zone uh, zonal coordinator. And Mazi Solomon Nubia is appointed the new IPOB Western Cape coordinator. Mazi Nubia replaces Mazi Innocent Alia, who from tonight is the former Western Cape coordinator. The following individuals, um, for actually not understanding what this struggle is all about, and for uh, 
you know, um, acts that do not merit their positions and the responsibility that was given to them. They are suspended indefinitely from their positions and the followings are Mazi George Ume. Mazi George Ume um, is suspended from being IPOB North London Zona Coordinator indefinitely. And Mrs. Macy Aungkwe, who was Michigan Zona Coordinator, she is also suspended indefinitely. And the Michigan Zone is shut down for two. The Michigan Zone is closed. We, like we are always known to do, we will rebuild. We will rebuild the Michigan Zone from scratch into a more formidable and more cohesive and uh, of course a uh, very very um uh important zone in london mitch cam zone former coordinator uh, by the name mrs onkwe is indefinitely suspended and that zone is closed down now these individuals have no reason to be in our midst and they are of course expelled forthwith. Mazi Jocelyn Ndugolo is relieved of his duty as IPOB regional coordinator for Scotland and expelled. We don't take nonsense in this family. Not not at all. We do not take prisoners. If you do not know in fact if you do not you are still a principal officer and you don't know why you are here tender your resignation and we will find apt and appropriate and the willing family, uh, hardcore RPB family members uh, to, of course, take the responsibility to guide and lead our people wherever you may have decided to uh, turn in the toilet. And um, Mazi Nelson Ume Ebe, Mazi Nelson Ume Ebe, he uh, was the former Omoba Zone uh, coordinator. Is expelled for soliciting for unauthorized funds from the public in contravention to RPOB's standing order. You don't go around using RPOB, uh, RPOB's name to to defraud people, and they will think you are um, you are supporting the struggle. That and you, Biafra Land has been told to cease from um, for any fund, any form of you know uh, collecting funds and raising funds. If you have issues with money, you contact the leadership and ask, uh, uh, to the best of our ability, we will be able to see uh, what can be done from this angle. But don't go out of your way and begin to defraud people. When you, when you do this, you are putting uh, our, our hard-end name into this report, and we cannot tolerate that. Mazi Ugo Michael Marizu. Mazi Ugomake Marizu is IPB Quebec, Canada. He is expelled for gross act of indiscipline. Continuous gross act of indiscipline. This is somebody that was suspended and after a time he was brought back, but he has not learned his lesson. Therefore, we cannot continue to pamper anybody who refuses to listen and who refuses to sue us. He is expelled from this very, very family in Canada. And together with him, is Mazi Chima Ndiolo from RPOB Quebec. He's also a spare for gross act of indiscipline. This young man in RPOB we do not fight a family member, but this man has the temerity to 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 use um, a sharp object to break the head of our coordinator in, in, in Quebec. Who gave you that authority? Who gave you the temerity to even lay your hand upon somebody who is serving RPOB? That is, you have crossed the red line, and therefore you do not belong. You do not belong, uh, in fact, uh, to this very, very noble family. And uh, Eunice Onya is a former uh, woman leader in Demli South. Eunice Onya also doesn't know what um, discipline means, and she doesn't know what um, following instructions means. She is expelled from being actually family member in Anambra State, and of course, she is no longer 
Akiobi woman leader and Demi Sam. Now also we have Chukuma Mwangu. Chukuma Mwangu, um, a unit coordinator in Zone One, okay, Janambra State. This man is also known with the name <laughs> because he's man a big name that kills a uh, uh, dog. He's also called um, uh, Aku Enwebe. Aku Enwebe. Uh, well, this this man, you know, it, you see the name is Hansen Aku. Aku means uh, somehow one of the, of the meaning of Aku is well. And he is so, so um, po possessed with making well that he has, he has turned himself into, into, into a criminal. Being in our midst as IPOB principal, we, we will not, we will not spare you. He is simply a criminal in our midst and has no place in this noble family. Chokoma uh, Mwangu, a unit coordinator in the one Okeja Anambra State, uh, also known with the name Akwe Mwebe. He has been expelled uh, from this family. Mazi Adendu Uyo, Adendu Uyo um, is Formerly the IPOB Pretoria Deputy Zona Coordinator. He is also inspired. Um, and finally, Mazi Sonde Udaja. Mazi Sonde Udaja is the uh, Sunyani Zona Coordinator, who is also a regional coordinator in Brong, a half four in Ghana. This man is also expelled and uh, he does not belong here. All of these people that I have called their name for expulsion, they do not belong here. We have no problem. We, this family, we are not, um, you know, it's not as if we, uh, we want to claim that it is only us that must fight for the opera. No. IPOB led by Martin Nam the Kano has its, uh, objective set before it. And if you wish and desire to belong to this family, you must follow the rules of this very, very movement. We are not here for a uh, tato tato or for dili or for or for any other thing, but to make sure that our people receive or regain their liberty and freedom as a race, their dignity as a nation, and of course, take over their heritage which Chukwabiyama has blessed them with. All of those who have been appointed tonight as responsible, as, as a, uh, being given uh, different responsibilities, I am pulling your ear. I am, I, I did speak this one for broken. I did pull on your ear. Don't go in there and begin to, because you have been given uh, a new responsibility, you begin to misbehave. If we get you, I am with the pocket, uh, you will not know what hit you. Just do your job. If you, if something is not very clear to you, ask your superior and they will properly and properly and guide you, uh, 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 guide you, guide you well, you know. And so I am reiterating, and uh, because one of the most important message tonight is that the 13th of September 2022 being Tuesday next week. Of course, that is the day that our leader's case will come up in Abuja Zoo Court of Appeal. Those in Abuja and his environs must do the network. Support, show solidarity to our leader and show solidarity to our, our legal team and uh, make sure you also um, keep your eyes open. Watch out for your brothers while you are there. And as we always do, we do it um, the way that the world will always marvel that how these people uh, are disciplined is beyond what is is known in 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 uh, African Africa in Black Africa. Those that must go to Abuja from uh, for the, for this very court case. Uh, within the northern region and Abuja uh, environment and its environs, please be security conscious.
Now, the very second important message tonight is that the thing as well of September, being to the 2022, is a total lockdown in Biafra land, Buhari, or whatever he calls himself, the person who is being invited by the vulture in Imu State is not wanted in our land. You cannot come to our land and spit upon the grave and urinate upon the grave of those you murder. You cannot come and, and laugh in our face and tell us when you build a toilet, you call uh, the, 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 the blood sucker to come and laugh at us. We will not accept it and we cannot condone it. By the grace of Elohim, Chukwu Abiyama, and our ancestors, Biafra for us is not just a name. Biafra for us is not just a name. It is more than a name for us. Biafra is more than our identity. Biafra is more than our heritage. Biafra is our being, it is the, 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 the air that we breathe. It is the air that we breathe. That is why that anything that the zoo is doing to stop us, it is null and void. It cannot succeed. Because the air we breathe is from Chukwu Abiyama. And Chukwu has given us Biafra. And no man, no spirit will stop it. Continue to put our leader in prayers. Those of you who knows how to call upon our ancestors, ceaselessly call upon them. Don't, um, don't tire in supplicating unto heaven. Don't tire in calling upon the name of Chukwu. Don't tire in presenting our case before our ancestors because they are in this battle with us. And uh, they, Chukwuki has assured us of victory. And victory we shall get. From me, from here, it is good night and remain blessed.